Hello and welcome to this What's How To video where I'll be explaining how you can use Power BI and What's and our What's REST API to load and visualize your production data. In this video, I'll be focusing on using GET requests from the What's API and I'll be showing two different ways that you can authenticate with your user credentials or with an access token. And I will also be looking at two different endpoints in the API. First, the high volume endpoint, uh, which returns KPIs for top runners within each part number and test operation. And the top failures endpoint um, that accesses the most frequent failures in your production, either from a specific part number across a group of them or the entire production. In this demo, I'll be using the Power BI desktop application as well as the Watts control panel for access. And I'll be using the Watts REST API documentation to find details about the different endpoints. So with that, let's get started. So for this first part, I will use the REST API and a GET request to request data regarding highest volume and yield metrics. And I will start off by um, browsing into the API documentation. And from what's you can find it using the help menu and open API documentation. And here I can find all the categories of um, endpoints and using the app category, I can find most uh, endpoints related to aggregated yield data. So I'm going to use the top one here out of the get requests uh, and it's going to be the high volume one. Clicking it will open this interface where I can see the different parameters. So I want to look at the last seven days. I want to look at any product group and any level. And I can click try it out. This will generate the request. And you can see the request URL here. So you have the base address with the what server and you have the endpoint and you have the parameters within the request URL. And also the return response you will get is of this type. So there is a block of data here for part number 100, 309 in acoustical test, and you have the, F, the KPIs, and you can see you get a new block of data for next part number and the next test. So to load this in Power BI, first I'm going to select this entire request URL and copy it, and I'm going to go into the Power BI desktop application. And here I have a blank report. There's no data in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go for get data. And I'm going to select web as my request type. And once you are here, you can type the request URL into this box. And if you are using your username and password to authenticate, you can use this basic form of authentication. Then I just click OK, select basic, and type my username. So this is the what's username and my what's password. And I can simply connect using this one. If I don't want to use my, um, my uh, user credentials, which I don't, I'll go back. And instead of selecting basic, I will select advanced here. And then I will add my authentication in the request header. So I'm going to go down here to the HTTP request header parameters, and I'm going to type in authorization and basic and a white space. And here I'm going to type in an access token. And to get that token, you can simply go back to what's, and you can either get it from the REST API, actually. So there's a there's an authentication category here where you can get a new token, or you can go to the control panel of what's in the users and account, you will find tokens. And here you can click new token, add a name, select a web client. And once you click save, the token will be displayed. Uh, I have already acquired my token, so I will leave this and use my current token. And I'll go back to Power BI and I'll paste the token in, in this authorization header. So then authorization, basic, white space, and the token. Click OK, which will essentially load the, the data. And it's loaded into a table 
and I can see here that I get some errors. And that is because Power BI tries to be smart and interprets the part numbers as numerical data, since they are more or less all only numbers and dots. But I want to change this back, so I'll right click this column and I will change the type to text. Also, I want to go ahead and make sure that my numerical data is of the type that I want. So here I have the first pass yield, and it's a percentage, but it's uh, given in uh, floating point value. So I'll change this one as well, change type to percentage. And I'll make sure the total count is numeric, so this is an integer value. I'm happy with this, so I'll close and apply. And once we're back in um, in the report, we can make a visual representation of this data. So let's click new visual, which will open a chart, and I'll find my data in the fields over to the right. And I'll go ahead and select product name as my x-axis. And in my y-axis, I want to select the total count. So in this case, this gives me a chart showing the volume produced for each of these uh, each of these part numbers. I can, of course, also introduce the process code to split the data down to process. I can also introduce uh, um, um, line A Y axis where I can put my first pass yield, for instance. So now I get a line chart showing the yield as well. So I get the, the yield percentage and uh, and the uh, volume in two different axes. So let's from this move on to the next query. And for that one, I'm going to use uh, the most frequent failures endpoint to uh, acquire a list of the most frequent failing steps of your testing. So let's create another page for a report. I'll first rename this to yield. And I'll create a new page and we'll call that top failures. And we do the same process again. So I go for get data, web request, and I'm going for advanced. And let's go back to bots and the API and find the next endpoint. So for this one, I want to use this one, the top failed. And here I can see that uh, I got. Uh, six parameters, so the part number, and I'm going to leave everything um, open with uh, the wildcard for any. So any process code, any part number, any product group, any level, last seven days. And I want to see the top 25 most failing uh, steps. So I'll try it out. And here you can see the request re returned. Uh, and here we can see the first test that failed is for the part number 100 RF and you get step name and you get the number of count, a number of runs, you get the number of failures, the number of failures that caused the UT to fail and uh, a lot of other KPIs as well. So the same thing here, I'll select the entire request URL, I'll go back into Power BI paste the URL into the URL parts, and I'm going to add authorization, basic, and my token. And it will load the data for the next query. Same thing here, I want to just make sure the data types are of the correct uh, type. So we got uh, text value here, process code is numerical. Scrolling ahead, I can see all these values are numerical. That seems all right. And I got some fail rate and cost. So of course this looks to be percentage, can be changed. So changing type, percentage. And let's close and apply. 
And for this one as well, let's add a new visual. And for change, let's use this one. And for this, in this case, I just want to simply use the, oh, I'm on the wrong data set. So there is the data set for the top fail. I simply want to use the uh, path for the step. So let me find that one. Step name and step path. So step path into the X axis, sorry, the Y axis. And I'm going to use the total cost UT failure count in the x-axis. So now I can see the most failing uh, step on top here, and I can see the number of failures. I can, of course, also go ahead and add more rows to, to this data. So I, if I want to see the total number of tests as well, I can do that, and I can see the total number of fails. So now I have for the light blue bar shows the total number of tests performed for that step. The dark blue shows the number of fails that caused the UT to fail. And the orange one shows the total number of fails disregarding uh, if it failed the UT or not. So that was what I was going to show you when it comes to GET request. If you want to see how you can also use the POST requests from uh, the What's REST API, please uh, investigate the videos and articles regarding POST requests as well. Have a nice day.